Hello, I'm Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today I got a uh, picture from a customer that has uh, a pretty unique little shape, so I thought I'd try and model this guy up, or at least give you an idea of how to do it. Um, so it's a conical shape, that's pretty simple, we'll do a revolved. Uh, then it's got a helix, and the, the crazy thing is the helix actually changes pitch as it goes up. So it is a simple cut, sweep, swept cut, but uh, there is a little bit of work we have to do to, to fix this thing. Um, Interesting thing is that these uh, these little antennas have actually been around for quite a while. On this little PowerPoint where uh, this was done back in 1959, some of the calculations that were done on this. Uh, there's a whole history on these with some old pictures. And uh, they're even mentioned every once in a while in uh, NASA Tech Briefs. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with SOLIDWORKS. Uh, of course, I'm going to start from scratch with a new part file. And just start sketching on the front plane. Just model this guy up just a little bit. Uh, if I hold down my left mouse, I can do an arc off of that guy. And we'll come off that tangent, and then we'll come straight down. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more uh, line right there. And we'll just select on that line and make it construction. So that way it's kind of like a center line. Uh, let's put some dimensions on. So I use my mouse gestures. Make this guy about 24 inches tall. Uh, let's make the diameter. You can see I'm crossing over my uh, line of the center line to make a diametrical dimension. Uh, let's make that about seven. If I hit escape, that'll put me back to where I'm out of diametrical mode. Make this go about one and a half. And then we just got to dimension the top of this guy. Make him about a half inch. And everything is black. That's good. Um, I'm a weird guy. I like to uh, fully constrain these sketches. So I'm going to select on that, hold down control, select on that line to make those guys equal. That way if this guy gets longer, then my center line gets longer as well. All right, first part simple, just going to do a revolve. So we'll go right into the revolve boss or base, 360 degrees, so we'll accept a default on that thing. All right, next what I need to do is as the uh, helix is going up, and I'm going to go ahead and stay away from the top part of that, so I'm just going to worry about this surface. And I need a helix, but the helix won't do a spiral as it's going up. Um, so what we're going to do is an intersection curve, but we need two different things to do that. We need this surface husk. So uh, if you don't have your surfaces ribbon on, you can right click on any of these uh, tool ribbons. So if I right click on sh uh, sketch, I can get my surfaces ribbon. On surfaces, I'm going to do an offset surface. When I do an offset on that face and set the offset to zero, automatically changes to a uh, copy surface. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And then uh, now if I turn my solid body off, you actually see I've got a little hollow surface there. Okay. And I can play with the surface bodies and stuff, turning those things on and off. All right. Next, let's get to work on our uh, helix. Let's go ahead and show that. And uh, the helix starts off with the circle. Uh, helixes and spirals both kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to select on the face of that thing, start up a new sketch. And I'm just going to steal the outside of that. So I'm just going to do Convert Entities. And if I rotate around, you'll see I've got a little black edge there. And uh, with that, we can turn off our solid body. You can see my sketch there. And we can go right into uh, the curve and do a helix spiral. So the default on the helix spiral uh, is going to do a, a constant pitch. So you know it's going to consistently kind of go around. Uh, we're going to change this to a variable pitch. Uh, we also have a drop down on here where we could just do a plain spiral. You can kind of see that's what it'll do. We're going to go back to uh, uh, change that to height and pitch. Uh, it is going to be variable. Um, I do need to reverse the direction, so it's going up in that direction. Start angle is fine. I do want it to go clockwise. And let's play with the numbers a little bit. So the height on this guy. It's about 24 inches. You can see that changes that on screen. And that's the nice thing is what you see is what you get on there. Uh, the initial pitch, let's put that at about 4. And then we're going to make it, as it goes up, it's got to get tighter. So I'm going to put that at, let's put it at 1 for right now. And there you can kind of see it getting tighter and tighter as it goes up. I actually wanted to get a little bit tighter than that. So let's put it at 0.5. And of course there's going to be... Uh, uh, equations that are going to govern uh, what the different pitches are you want from one to the other for the antenna to work correctly. Alright, but that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. 
So we'll just say OK. So that gives us our helix. Uh, the other thing I did is I did start it at 270 degrees there. And I did that so that way I can use one of these planes to kind of go off of when I do my, uh, my uh, sweep. All right, so let's uh, start a new sketch on that plane. And when I do this, I like to create a little tiny line just right off of this and then my straight line section there. Uh, this guy right here, I want to go to make construction. And that leaves me a little bit of a gap in there. Uh, so when it spins, I don't get this weird little uh, straight line section on the loft uh, going from one, going from the helical contour to a straight line segment. All right. And because it's me, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, of course, dimension everything. So we'll put that at about 0.5. Put this at about 7. Make sure it's good and past that. And then that's it. Uh, we are going to do a sweep with this guy. Sweep uses uh, two different curves there. And we're going to do this as a surface sweep. So the, the profile is going to be that. The path is going to be the helix. So again, you can kind of see it. The pitch is getting smaller and smaller as it goes up. And we'll say OK. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off the helix. So we don't have to see that anymore. And then you can see what I'm doing is I'm getting a little cross section between these things. Now. Before I do anything with this guy, I need to go ahead and um, create a 3D sketch. So we'll start with a 3D sketch. Under the Convert Entities drop down, there's an intersection curve. And then we'll just select on the two surfaces, hit OK. And it's going to give us the cross section between those. And you can see it's also now following the conical face. So everything's looking pretty good. Uh, we're pretty much done with the surfaces. We can't delete them. Because if we delete them, then we're going to have a little bit of an issue there. Uh, so we just want to turn them off. So that looks good. And I forgot one more thing on the 3D sketch. So let's edit the sketch. Now, one other thing that I may want to do is uh, if I wanted to trim off the surface a little bit before that, then I may want to cut a, put a cutting plane on there, trim the surface, and then stop it. Uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and just draw a line coming straight off of this. And just put it out there in space somewhere. Don't contour it to a plane or anything. And that way you can come back to it, select on both of those using control, and do make tangent. So that way it's coming straight off of there. Uh, I also want to do the same thing on the bottom. So just start on the endpoint, drag it out just in somewhere in space, come back later, make a tangent. There we go. And then, of course, I'm crazy like this. Put dimensions on there or make them equal. There we go. So we're fully defined. I'm happy with that. Now I can go ahead and create a uh, sketch on the end of this. So we'll go to the features, create a new plane. And what this is going to do is so I picked on the line and then the endpoint. And that way the plane is going to be perpendicular or normal to that edge. And it's going to be at the endpoint. It's a fully defined plane. Um, actually in this one, because it's circular, if I'm doing a square shape or something like that, then I may actually have to do this. But uh, this is something new in 2017 is I don't really have to worry about the planes or anything anymore. Uh, we can go ahead and just turn on our revolve shape there. So I have a solid, and then now I have my profile. Uh, the 3D sketch we can actually use as a uh, swept cut, doing a circular profile. And then I just need to tell it what this offset is. So if it's a quarter, you kind of see that quarter inch. Or if it's a half inch, you can make it whatever it's supposed to be. And then that's it. Just say OK. It's going to remove that material out of there. You can see the line comes uh, off of that helix and then coming straight on out. Contours up. Gives you another one of those. Uh, and then we can do things like a circular pattern. So I want to pattern this feature. And I really only want to do two. So that way this guy's 180 degrees apart. So that looks pretty good. Hope this video gave you some good tips and techniques. And hope to see you next time. This is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. Thanks for joining us.